What's going on superstars, People's Champ here, and right now we're going to take a quick first look into Hogger. So what we're going to do is we're going to look into his abilities, his talents, and a little bit of possible theory craft on how we could probably build him when the time comes that he is available. The first one we're going to take a look at is Loot Horde. You toss a pile of junk onto the battlefield, dealing 151 damage in an area, knocking enemies away, and acting as terrain for up to 5 seconds. When the loot horde expires or is destroyed, a chunk of meat falls out that can be picked up to restore 3% of maximum health every second for 5 seconds. You reactivate to destroy the loot horde. So this is what it looks like. It's connected to like a map cell, which is not too bad. Um, kind of makes sense in a way because it's going to create terrain, so you want to make sure it's in line with all the other terrains. That's my... uh theory there so this is what it's going to look like you place it down and you see his little beautiful loot horde you see the timer down there go ticking down and then that's it you'll see his meat and you eat that and it's going to give him some healing so if you place it on top of an enemy it will do some damage and knock them out of the way so that it can create the terrain next we're going to take a look at his passive rage Rage is gained by taking damage or dealing basic attack damage. Hogger's basic ability cooldowns refresh 1% faster for every 2 points of rage. After 3 seconds of not gaining rage, it begins to quickly decay. So this is basic of the rage. You'll see the rage fill up there. And this is the 3 second cool uh, timer. So you'll see cooldowns will refresh. A lot faster so you'll use the attack and you'll see it go down a lot faster than usual and then you stop fighting and it will slowly go down to a decay next we're going to take a look at the Q ability which is staggering blow you swing your chain in a wide arc dealing 207 damage to enemies hit and knocking them away if an enemy hits terrain deal an additional 222 damage Stun for 0.75 seconds and gain 15 rage. So you've seen it, or you've seen it already, just like that. Let's talk about the cooldowns quickly here. So you can see, you'll see the stun and the damage, extra damage right there. So you see the 222 plus the 207, and you'll see the stun ability. Next is the Ezra Dynamite. Toss a bundle of dynamite with a 1.5 second fuse. Upon detonation, enemies take 267 damage and are slowed by 30% for 2 seconds. The dynamite instantly detonates when landing on an enemy hero, granting Hogger 10 rage. This is what it looks like. Beautiful. Looks like a shoe. It is a shoe. Filled with dynamite. So you'll see it does damage in an AoE area. However, if you land it on an enemy hero or an enemy you'll see the radius just inside the cross just outside of the crosshair kind of like Deckard's potions if it touches them it immediately blows up so if you hit them with it beautifully done if you don't it's got the timer next one is hog wild after 0.25 seconds become unstoppable and uncontrollably spin towards the target direction ricocheting off terrain Every 0.125 seconds, deal 53 damage to nearby enemies, increased by 1% for each point of rage. Ricocheting off terrain refreshes the duration. You can also cancel it. Do you see here? This is what it looks like. That's beautiful. So if you do end up ricocheting it off, the, the terrain this is what it's going to look like you'll see it refreshing and you'll basically keep going and you have the unstoppable so yeah <laughs> you're good to go until you either until it either runs out or you hit you to cancel next we're going to look into the heroics the hortipult Launch an empowered loot horde with Hoggard attached, dealing 207 damage and slowing enemies by 50% for 2 seconds. 
The Horde of Alts loot Horde lasts up for 20 seconds, decaying rapidly while not nearby. Every 10 seconds, Hogger can take a chunk of meat from the loot Horde. So this is what it's going to look like. First off, you click where you want the loot Horde to be, and while holding, or if you're not using SmartCast, after clicking, you can decide where you want to land and cause the AoE damage. And so once you're damaged... Ooh. And there is the meat. And then right at the end, just like the normal loot horde, you can grab another meat. Choose a talent. 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 The next heroic is next. We're gonna look at shockwave. After 0.5 seconds, slam the ground, setting out a shockwave that travels in a long line. Enemies hit by the initial slam take 453 damage and are stunned for 1.25 seconds. Enemies only hit by the shockwave take 311 damage and are stunned for 0.75 seconds. So looking back, this is what we'll see. You'll see the circle, that's the initial uh, damage, the initial portion of the shockwave, and the long portion is the secondary, the after effects. So you're going to see the damage spreading out, damage being different compared to, with this and compared to the others, and you'll see the stun time as well being different. Being pretty much almost the last one depending on how far apart they are yeah so very handy very handy it's only a 70 second cooldown so not not too bad not too bad next we're going to take a look at the level one talents first one is the journeyman cooking each hero hit by as through dynamite heals you for six percent of maximum health it is also a quest talent where hitting heroes with S throw dynamite permanently increases your maximum health by 10 to a maximum of 750 bonus health. So it basically speaks for itself. Once you get damaged, it's going to heal you. Just like that. Kind of like Gazlo's laser, but also the more that you hit, the more heals you get. So if you only hit one, you only get 210. But if you hit three in one, you'll get healed for triple the amount. Next one is Bone to Gnaw. Loot Horde creates a chunk of meat when it lands. While under the effects of meat, you gain 10 armor. Simple. Place it down, you will get that meat as you showed. And you're getting 10 armor. The next one is on the Prowl. Activate to gain 30 rage over 8 seconds and it has a passive where you heal for you heal for 9 health every second But it is increased by 2% per point of rage Choose a talent. This one can be pretty handy. I'm gonna just take the cooldown off So basically you're attacking if you need if you want the rage right away You can just hit it and you'll see it slowly significantly increase Within the duration. Now, another ray, another thing you could do with it, if you're, if you already have a hundred and you need to go to quickly go to a camp or switch to a lane and you don't want to lose, and you don't want to lose the rage, <laughs> what you can do is just let it go down a little bit and just hit it and it'll stop it because you're gaining rage, so it's gonna stop. The cooldown, the duration. Okay, buddy. Alright, calm down. Next, we're going to take a look at the level 4s. Brute Force increases the range of Loot Horde by 15%, with a quest hitting heroes in staggering blow permanently increases basic attack damage by 1 to a maximum of 100 bonus damage. Enemy heroes that hit terrain grant an additional 2 damage. 
So you can see the outline is about this much base. So when you add the talent. talent, increases just a tiny bit, 15%. But I really th think that you would mostly go for the quest. So moving up to Arthas, if we hit him once with it, we'll get one stack, one bonus attack damage. But if we hit him into the terrain, we will get that extra two. So that brings it up to four. So basically, you'll get three. Next is aggro range. Increase Hog Wild's radius by 25%, and each enemy hit generates one range. Rage, sorry, increased to three against heroes. You'll see the size of Hog Wild, the radius. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty self explanatory. If you see the radius right now, it is about that big. Let's see if we can compare it. It's right about there. So if you get this, you'll see a decent amount, a decent size. So you will hit more heroes with Hog Wild. Isn't that wild? Next, we're going to take a look at Hogger's Joggers. While above 30 rage, gain 10% increased movement speed and healing received. When above 50 rage, increase these bonuses to 15%. So we're at zero rage, and you'll see that we're normal speed and we'll get normal healing but if we bring it up to 30 of 30 you'll see that we are a lot faster 15 percent bring up to 50 it will get that 50 percent move speed and a little and healing let's get this going here you'll see that healing over time not too bad next on level sevens we are going to check out seeing red while above 50 rage gain 25 percent attack speed and the cooldowns of stay green blow and hog wild are 30 percent faster so we're above 50 and as you can see he is attacking for a substantial amount of speed and you'll see it is about 50. We'll use Staring Blow. And it is going down quite quickly. As well as Hog Wild. So you can create quite a bit of disruption in the team fights with this. And even catch up to the enemy enemy team. Next is Dense Blasting Powder. Instant detonations of Esther Dynamite creates an additional dynamite behind the hero hit. Hitting the bundle of Esther Dynamite with Staggering Blow breaks it into three sticks and launches them forward in an arc. This one's pretty interesting. So if you hit, if you do not hit anyone with it for an instant explosion, just one. But if you do hit them, hit someone with it, it's going to fire one right in front of it. But if you don't hit them and you hit and you hit it with your staggering blow it's going to create three right in front next is garbage fire reduce the cooldown of loot horde by four seconds every 0.5 seconds enemies in the large area around the loot horde take 37 damage and are slowed by 20 percent you hit it here you'll hit both of them it's a little radius but it's great for team fights just get in there throw that down and they might not have any choice but to back up they regret cross path with Hara. choose a talent choose a talent <laughs> Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. 
Next, we're going to take a look at 13s. First one is Dust Devil. You gain 40 armor while Hogwild is active and 3 seconds after. When you're above 50 rage, you increase this armor to 60. Very self-explanatory. Once you use Hogwild, you'll see that you have 40. But if you bring it up to 100 or over 50 even, just over 50, you'll see it go up to 60. And it will persist just for a little while after Hogwild. Next, we'll take a look at Pummel. Enemies hit by Hogwild are slowed by 10% for 1.5 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. Heroes hit have their spell power reduced by 50% for 3 seconds. We'll place that there. And let's go. You'll see it's stacking, so he's really slow. And, of course, he's... okay. Alright. Oh, there I go. And I'm back. And oh, there you go again. And away I go. The last one of 13 is Bloodthirst. Damaging heroes with basic attacks, staggering blow, or hog wild heals you for 33% of the damage dealt. We need another helper. So let's just take down the cooldowns quickly here. So we'll see him every hit. We are getting some health. If we could toss down the other down, I might get a little bit more. But we are pretty much holding our own for a decent out amount of time. Even with Arthas' uh, cold frost, cold snap, we were doing quite decently. Now, with it off, we are we're almost out healing his attacks and everything. Of course, it's with On the Prowl, Hoggers Joggers connected together, as well as Seeing Red. So now we're going on to 16's Headbanger. Enemy heroes stunned by a staggering blow take an additional 8% of their maximum health as damage and are stunned for an additional 0.5 seconds. Choose it's pretty much says speaks for itself. Yes. Yeah. It's literally just going to increase the blow damage once it hits the terrain. Right there, as you can see. And it's going to stun for longer. So this is pretty good if you're in a small uh, confined area like uh, Towers of Doom has some pretty good areas. Cursed uh, Hollow. Um, even uh, Battlefield of Eternity. Next is Kablooey. Instant as throw dynamite. Detonations deal 40% more damage, reduce its cooldown by 1.5 seconds, and increase its slow amount to 50%. The passive uh, increase as throw dynamite's range by 25%. That's, that's pretty good. Not gonna lie, it's pretty good. So you're gonna reduce the cooldown by what feels like a little bit, but I mean, any type of ability cooldown reduction is pretty nice and it's going to increase the slow amount and damage so see it's gone down there's a slow effect and the extra damage so right now you're doing 553 damage that's a delicious chunk right there next is berserker hitting heroes with staggering blow or as throw dynamite increases the damage of the next basic attack within eight seconds by 50% stacking up to two times. When Hogwild ends, you gain 30% movement speed for two seconds. Hit someone one person with staggering blow, you're going to get that Berserker one increased damage. And you can hit them, and you'll get that 493. If you hit two, you will get two stacks of it. So you can hit him once, and you hit him again. Same thing with throwing an S with the dynamite, you will get two stacks, so you can hit and hit. But for Hog Wild, once it ends, you will have that increased move speed. This is pretty good if you're chasing someone down. So you could go down and it stops here, no worries, you got the move speed. So you can move right in front of them and knock them back into your team. For the first one you're going to take a look at is the Hortipult upgrade. For every secret stash, for every two seconds, Hortipult's loot hoard randomly launches as through dynamite, prioritizing enemy nearby heroes. For every five seconds, it also launches a chunk of meat towards Hogger. So you're going to get 
more meat for heals, and you're going to be getting some good AoE. So let's put it right about here, and you'll see every once in a while he's just going to throw dynamite. You can see it's going to be just on the outskirts of the AoE, and it's randomly going to an enemy. But it will prioritize heroes, so when a hero is nearby and within the area, it's going to focus them down. The next one is Shockwave's upgrade, Power Spike. Hitting heroes with Shockwave reduces their armor by 15 for 4 seconds and grants 20 rage. The passive it rages cooldown reduction affects Shockwave's cooldown. So that's pretty good too. So you're going to uh, hit, so hit an enemy. They're going to have that minus 15, and it's going to give you some rage. Getting 20 rage is per hero hit. So at zero, you could literally start the fight off with a shockwave. Hit as many as you can, and you're already at 60, 60, 65. So it's a great way to start, to start a fight if you're down on rage. You can just get 60 rage and just get your effects right away the next 20 is no control you activate it to cast an untalented hog wild and begin chasing an enemy hero after reaching hero you bounce to a random nearby enemy hero which lasts up to six seconds rapidly decaying if there are no other enemy heroes nearby this is pretty much like lightning ball so you see you're in a team fight the old cast on untalented hog wild and you'll see it going back and forth like a pinball and you'll see you'll still you will have the the unstoppable throughout the whole thing so it's a great way to get some damage done as you can see the total damage is 10,000 the last one is anger management you increase the maximum range by 50 which gives you 150 rage total. We're raising the maximum bonuses, it's for its cooldown refresh rate to 75%, which makes it a lot faster. And the hog wall damage to 150%. With a passive for basic attacks, grant five additional rage. So each hit is giving you 10 instead of five. So you hit them, you're gonna get 10. So you, with, within 10 hits, 15 hits, you're you're getting it right up there. So, with Hog Wild, you're getting that extra damage, 142. And the cooldown as well. We'll get it up to 150. And it goes down substantially. So, this is great if you want to be a nuisance in the team fights, as well as. Being that one that is really focused on keeping their rage up. So for the theory crafting, I have a couple in mind. One is your DPS rage build. So of course you're going to go for on the prowl. You're going to get that health per second and that uh, 30 rage over 8 seconds activation. So that's really going to help you keep topped off when needed. And it's going to help you maintain the rage if you're doing a quick lane change or quick movement if you got to back a bit you can just keep the rage going choose a talent next would be of course hoggers joggers you're going to get that increased to move speed and that'll really help you chase people down when you need to escape run around kite and more healing like you are going to get a lot of self heals just by basic attacking with this build choose a talent Next one would be seeing red because you're going to get you're going to need attack speed and e Because since each hit is going to heal you you're going to need faster attack speeds in you to get faster heals if You're gonna get so over 50 rage. You're gonna get 25% attack speed and you're going to reduce the cooldowns and staggering blow into hog wild a lot faster so not only are you uh, sustaining yourself with your basic attacks 
but you're you are uh, becoming a more of a nuisance with your abilities becoming more available to you in team fights. For your heroic, I definitely recommend Shockwave for this build um, because you're going to um, need it in the end at the twenties. But it's also for CC. You got the stuns and the damage. For a Horde of Pult, um, you can take it. You're going to slow enemies, which would be... It's pretty nice when you're trying to attack them, because they're slow and you can hit them, but you already have the move speed. You can catch up to them no matter what. And when it comes to heals, you're only getting about two. You're just getting two chunks of meat which will heal you a, a good amount but you already have loot hoard so you're missing just another three percent of max health uh heal and then you would go into bloodthirst so you're just increasing your your basic attack heals and as well as with staggering blow or hog wild so you're just getting a lot more healing and sustain there so it's perfect for team fights and it works really well with seeing red because you're reducing the cooldown with uh staggering blow and hog wild for the 16 i would grab a berserker you're going to be doing a lot more damage that way with the cooldown reduction of staggering blow you can use it a lot more often gaining that other that two stacks of 50 percent extra damage as well as for wild hog when you get out of it you get that extra move speed boost the major move speed so you can chase you can literally chase uh, enemies down a lot faster you could grab headbanger if uh if you don't need to chase people down you can do a lot more damage with with staggering blow headbanger because you are reducing the staggering blow cooldown a lot more and if you are hitting them uh, against the terrain you will be doing a lot more damage so you could take down a tank quite easily you can you can peel them away quite nicely i recommend berserker headbanger if it's very situational for the 20 i think it's definitely power spike for this because you're going to reduce their armor by 15 and your grant you're getting yourself some extra rage so if you backed into to uh if you backed into the hall and your rage goes back to zero and you're going straight to the objective with your team, you could definitely just back up a bit and wait till every till the enemy team is bunched up together. And you can hit them with the power spike shockwave, and if you hit all five of them, you're going to get a hundred rage just like that. And you can and then you can just go in and have at it with 100 rage, maximum, maximum healing effect, maximum uh, attack speed, move speed, and cooldown reduction effect. Another option, uh, right if, if power spike isn't your thing, anger management could be the way to go because you're going to get 150 percent or 150 rage total. Is this going? To, it's just going to increase your maximum bonus for your cooldown refresh and healing. And hog wild is going to do. 150% more damage. So if you're in that tight, tight, tight spot for uh, team fights like in Cursed, Cursed Hollow, Battlefield of Eternity, and you can bounce back and forth pretty easily, this can do a decent amount of damage. And you're going to get 10 rage per basic attack. So if you want to go mainly at basic attack, this is the way to go. But I highly recommend Power Spike for this build next one is the loot horde build um i'd say this is basically if you're again in that small tight area or if you have a good combo like with gazlo zarya you can definitely use this so your first one you grab is uh bones to gnaw so it's going to give you a chunk of meat when it lands so you're going to get more healing that way and you get some 10 She's armor a, a little bit of more uh defense and then you're going to go for brute force you're going to get a lot more damage with this and you're going to increase the range of your loot hard by 15 percent so you can choose a talent 
you can use it to help uh, block someone's way if you're trying to chase them and you're going to get do a little bit more extra damage once you get the quest going next one is garbage fire this is probably the most synergistic you, uh, talent you need for your 10 because it's going to give you basically extra dot for uh, for team fights you're going to do that and they are going to be slowed so it's a big plus it's what you pretty much need for choose a talent or to pull. and you will get more meat to heal choose a talent for 13 situational you can either go dust devil or pommel if they are dps heavy like rainer and vala or you need some more survivability definitely dust devil because you're going to get that extra armor for sure um if you're going against a mage if you want to focus down a mage pummel is definitely the way to go to stop you know to reduce their spell power by a decent amount of 50 percent for the 16 it's uh, dependent you can either go kablooey to increase your damage for as their dynamite but i do have another a build in mind for that but it's it this one's up to you or you could go headbanger for that extra health or extra eight percent maximum health damage when fighting so it's it's either or situational as well but for headbanger you really need it to be effective to if you really need terrain for it to be effective whereas kablooey you can just you just toss it onto them and you get that slow amount and for this you i'd say you definitely need to go for secret stash for every two seconds horde pulse loot horde randomly launches the is through dynamite it's going to prioritize heroes you're going to get that extra damage and it's actually going to work well with kablooey because it's just going to keep tossing those out and you are going to get them slowed extra damage and yeah extra meat what can go wrong the last build i'm thinking about is your as throw dynamite build so the first thing off is the journeyman cooking so your 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 as throw dynamite is going to heal you for six percent of your maximum health and you are going to get a little bit more beefier choose a talent then you're going to go for aggro range so the hog wilds radius is going to be increased it's just it's going to be good for you next you're going to get dense blasting powder so this is pretty much what you need for it to be a force to be reckoned with because you're going to leave behind you're going to leave behind the debt the dynamite from behind and if you miss you can just stagger it and it'll create more dynamite it's it's just going to be a great addition for you. For the heroic, I would say Shockwave would be the way to go. You can go for Hortipult, but the only thing that Hortipult is going to do is to let you catch up to the enemy, like jump in, kind of like a, a dive, and you're going to cause a little bit of AoE damage, slow them down if you hit them with it. Um, And just a little bit of meat i think yeah just two meat and that's it so i definitely think the way to go would be shockwave because you're you're going to be a lot more it's going to have a lot more utility and if you toss down an ezro dynamite you can just do a little combo throw down the ezro and an alt so that they have a higher chance of getting hit by the dynamite Next, uh, situational, Dust Devil or Pummel, it, totally up to you. Choose a talent. Next would be definitely Kabalui. Um, you're going to deal a lot more damage, so it's going to do a lot more damage, reduce the cooldown a little more, so you can be tossing a lot more, and it's going to increase the sl uh, slow amount and increase the dynamite range. So it's it's the best of both worlds. Choose a talent. And then for the 20, it's super situational. I think definitely the way to go would be Power Spike because it's just going to make your your Shockwave a lot more better. 
and that is it for me everybody i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe i don't do as many videos as i should but i'm slowly starting to get back into it um of course lay down any feedback in the comments i like to improve and yeah i will see you in the nexus take care stay awesome stay crazy and remember you're all superstars and i'll see you when i see you